this truck. This is a Ford Maverick XLT Atlas Blue FX4 package. I custom built this. I had this built, but I'm walking away from it. Uh, it took a while, and then we ended up getting the Mazda 3. Um, if I didn't get that, this would have been mine. Um, and then I had another one, a hybrid built, and that one is coming. And that one, since I'm walking away from this, I'm probably going to trade the Mazda 3 in for the hybrid in Cactus Gray that's coming out. Um, if I never got the Mazda 3, I probably would have gotten this. And if the hybrid wasn't ever going to get built, I probably just would have been with this truck and ended up trading this to get the hybrid truck because I need the mileage. But since the hybrid is coming, I did some thinking and decided that we may trade in the Mazda 3 to get the Cactus Gray Hybrid that'll be here at the end of the month. This is a nice truck though. Um, the reason why I had two built was because the, the constraints, the Ford constraints, um, they were saying, well, Ford was saying that hybrids are impossible to get. So for the benefit of driving at least one this year, I ordered two. Unfortunately, I got tired of waiting and ended up with the Mazda 3, which is a great car. I love it. It's an all-wheel drive, turbo, but the mileage just wasn't there. With my job driving around the city, I need something that gives me at least 40 miles per gallon. And the Ford Maverick Hybrid, it does all that. Although this FX4 package would be sick, it's not a hybrid. I think mileage is about 26 to 30 miles per gallon, which is fine, but I'd rather have 40 miles per gallon. The only downside about the hybrid is it's a two-wheel drive, and this is an all-wheel drive. So you gotta make your sacrifices. I'd rather save money in the end, but yeah, this is a sweet, sweet truck. Whoever gets it is gonna be really lucky. They do have a $6,000 markup pretty much BS since I'm walking away from it whoever gets it will have to pay the adjusted markup but here it is Atlas Blue FX4 Ford Maverick Ambo